I'm very, very privileged to be with the philosopher today, Dr. Elie Wominian. I have been having questions regarding some things, and I think this is the right time to talk to him, and I believe he will have some beautiful answers for you and I as well. Hi, doctor. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. Everything okay? Okay, and I'm complaining about. Okay. Um, there's an issue that I want to talk to you about, something that people have been running away from. People are scared to talk about it, and it's death. Um, death is, I don't know if it's a tragedy or it's its something that is shocking. Nobody wants to die, yeah? Um, tell me one thing. When a person dies, is it true that at the funeral, when people are crying and everything is going on in the funeral, that corpse, knows is it a corpse or a corp corpse yes uh, the corpse understands or rather knows what's going on uh, even when you do pay their last respect the dead person knows that you know Ellie's here to say bye bye to me <laughs> I don't know if it's yeah so it's something that I've been questioning myself well first thing you know death is proof of life okay just like Dark, mm-hmm. darkness is proof of light. Mm-hmm. Without death, you don't understand life on Earth. Okay, life by itself is just energy. Mm-hmm. Life is energy, and while on Earth all the the, the elements of life are inclusive, mm-hmm. connected to the body, mm-hmm. energy, will, and action, it's like a battery. Need mm-hmm. energy to activate your body. Mm-hmm. People don't die. Mm-hmm. None of us is mortal. People don't die. We never die. What do you mean? It's our body that dies. Okay. Cessation of breathing is death. Mm-hmm. Rotting is death. Mm-hmm. Coagulation within your blood. It means your memories that are connected to your blood flow mm-hmm. are disconnected. It mm-hmm. means you now have a coagulated blood. Mm-hmm. You can rot. The body can rot. But not the person. Not you. Mm-hmm. You live in the body. Mm-hmm. You use your body. Mm-hmm. And once the body is no longer of use, mm-hmm. think about it. Mm-hmm. Every night, mm-hmm. you said it earlier, introducing you this decision that people don't want even they, to they talk don't about like it. to talk about yeah. death. And without understanding death, we don't understand life. Okay. You see it's vice versa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually once you go to bed, mm. you rehearse on dying. What do you mean? We do it on a daily basis. Wow. We die we literally die every night. Okay. We go to bed. Mm-hmm. So it's rehearsing to die. Wow. Although it's not permanent. Mm-hmm. When we say death, it means it's permanent. Yeah. Although it's a process as well. Mm-hmm. There is no abrupt death. Mm-hmm. Death so, is procedural. Okay. Just as life is. Mm-hmm. It took nine months after the seed was connected. And it took nine months for us to develop mm. within our mother's womb. Mm. So we take... It's a process for people, for somebody to die. Mm. The first thing referred to death is the absence of breath. Okay. Okay. So what happens when a person dies? You, What exactly takes place? Does what a person, happened? when what a person happened? dies, like do, does a person know that, you know, tomorrow I'm going to die or I feel like I'm about to die? Do you just, you know, like what is, what takes place in the spiritual realm? You know, it's not, you know, when, once you approaching death, mm-hmm. it means you approaching your stop. You approaching um, your cessation. Mm-hmm. You got to know that. If you really connected to you, mm-hmm. you can know, you can feel that, that this is the end. One of the marks is just to feel like you got n- no more other stuff to do. Mm-hmm. You're desperate. Mm -hmm. You feel like you got nothing more to do. Mm -hmm. You've done it all. Mm -hmm. 
you done uh-huh. you see something uh-huh. like, some kind of feelings like that uh-huh. but speak about the fact death and for you or i uh-huh. death is for the mortal the body yeah everything that is mortal uh-huh. your presence goes out the absence of breath mm. that's death that's a mark of death mm-hmm. for the body mm-hmm. do your breath have memory no it's your cells mm. that controls the breathing system sure your cells when sure. we say your cells who's you the person inside yeah the one in tune with the breathing mm-hmm. your absence from the body uh-huh. the word translated it as death uh-huh. cessation of life okay you're not living anymore uh-huh. you're not within the body anymore uh-huh. Uh-huh. it means that very thing is testified uh-huh. and proven by the presence of breath uh-huh. wow. but our body doesn't die totally uh-huh. soon as our breath goes out okay after the breath goes out you just exhal and you don't in hell really again yeah that is what takes place the feeling is sleep ah uh-huh. somebody who's dying feels deep sleep you feel a need for deep sleep you go to sleep and you don't feel your body anymore how many times have you parked your body mm. in your bed you dream about you just where Death is not a vision. It's a transition. When somebody passes away, you park your body and mm-hmm. you don't need to use it anymore. But so, you still have another body you can which use. Which is a spirit now. Your body, well, sending spirits will be just making it, mm. you know, a little paradoxical. We better say presence. Okay. your presence so that presence still remains sees things as in you you keep on dreaming it's like you are in a sleeping or la la land you see things and you dream and whatever but no it's no longer a dream you call it a dream mm-hmm. but that's your reality okay the very thing we call dream that's our reality mm-hmm. if you experience things within the material world mm. the physical realm and then dream of those stuff mm. at night mm. what do you call that it's nightmare sure it's just nightmare but if you dream over there and yeah. then you come implement within the physical realm that's not nightmare that's what you call dream mm-hmm. and that's your life the true life the one in tune and in control mm-hmm. of the physical mm-hmm. after death mm. you don't need your body anymore. Mm. The body degenerates itself because body has dimensions. Mm-hmm. It takes nearly 15 days for the body to die completely. Wow. Okay. But you you gone. You're not using it anymore. Mm-hmm. If you decide not to use your car anymore, are you supposed to stick around no. and watch your car? Mm-mm. You just park it forever. Mm-hmm. You don't need it. And as a matter of fact, we use our ma- our body we need our money but body to connect to the physical true that yeah so uh, let me ask you now taking you back to the first question i asked when when a person dies you are at the funeral does that person who left the body is is that person who left the body be able to see the the activities of whatever that is going on in the funeral death is never staged Okay. You got to understand yeah. that. Mm-hmm. The only way you can connect to the physical mm-hmm. is your body. Aha. Uh-huh. So once you leave your body, you don't, you don't connect to that anymore. Okay. Okay. But you can remember that. Okay, your inner your inner person remembers. Yeah, everything that you can recall with that eyes. Mm. That's the very thing you have remaining. Wow. It's not a vision. Uh-huh. It's a session. Okay. So, everything that you can see with your eyes uh-huh. doesn't yeah. exist anymore. Wow. Your third eye maybe or your ability to be will exist because you are not a thing. None of us is. We're not things. Uh-huh. 
Most of the time, we identify ourselves to our bodies. Our body is something we use, we utilize to connect to the material world. Mm-hmm. Since we're living among living people, they have body as we do ourselves. So we use this as an instrument mm-hmm. to connect. You can see me mm-hmm. because you have eyes. Because I'm in because fi- I'm in the body. I'm in the physical body. Yeah, so you're I'm controlling you. this body. Okay. You are within your body, yes. and you're utilizing your eyes mm-hmm. to look at me, not mm-hmm. to see me. And you you activate your brain to perceive the sense of the image right in front of you. Mm-hmm. Then you know that this is a human being. Mm-hmm. And since you you've seen me before, mm-hmm. you've seen me before. Yeah. And you know who that is. Yeah. You know this is Ali. This is Lillian because I got a picture of you inside. Not because yeah. it's you here. Mm-hmm. It means my eyes are there as instrument, as tools to allow me. Look at something. Got it. And my perception would allow me to understand mm-hmm. what I'm looking at. That's mm-hmm. perception. Mm-hmm. Now, after death, mm. you're not physical anymore. So you're not connecting to any physical thing. Like you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to connect. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this because I have seen people who were able to connect to the dead, in terms of you know um, somebody's died, somebody has passed out, has passed on maybe 10 years ago or that, and they see it and you know they could communicate. I don't know if, if what does that really mean? How do you? How are you able? How does a person connect to a person that, who's already? No, you're referring to psychic. Okay, that's knowledge. crazy. Okay. That's psychic. Okay. Now we're not I'm not I'm not gonna suggest for us to go there. Okay. Good stuff. You see, it does exist, it is there. Yeah. But you can connect to somebody similar. Okay. Relativity. Remember that. Yeah. I shouldn't say something like that. Mm-hmm. So you got to relate to connect. Mm. Okay. If you want to connect to the dead, you got to die. For you to be able to go there and yeah, yeah okay. you got to die and connect to the dead people. If you dead, your body, I mean, uh-huh. if your body is dead, uh-huh. so you don't need the body. Even the people w- that uses body, you don't need. But you can see without touching. Uh-huh. They can feel without touching. Yeah. So the only thing that vanishes is the ability to touch something to touch to connect. Got it. Something palpable. It's just presence. Mm. We are studio. You married. You can feel your husband's presence. Is his body around? No. I don't think so. Yeah. It depends how you connect to the person. So it's just presence. Got it. One last question. Um, we believe um, I'm Christian, and I believe when you die, you go back to the Father. Um, as a spirit, when the spirit leaves the body, um, you're connected back to your Lord. Um, let's talk about animals. Um, we have connections with animals. I mean, you can find a person living with a dog for the longest time, and this dog, they say dogs are the best friends to to to, to mankind and stuff. When this animal of mine dies. Where does the spirit go? Does it return to the creator or it just goes anywhere? Animals don't have spirit. Good stuff. You've just answered a very profound answer. Question. Uh-huh. Tell me more. That's just that they instinctive. They don't have spirit. So how do they live? They live by instinct. But I thought anything that is on earth must have a spirit to be able to be on earth. No. Okay, tell me more about animals it. Animals don't have spirit. They so have what instinct. makes them breathe? What makes them bark? What makes them walk? I thought spirit is a machine that makes me walk on earth. When you say spirit, yeah. you may utilize spirit, but you're not spirit. Go deeper. We breathe. Mm-hmm. That's memory. It's system. It's regeneration, Uh the genes. Uh We all are animals. Even we are animals. True that. But we're different because we can be in control. Got it. We're not pre-programmed to do. We're not pre-programmed to follow. Uh Our body shows that. You know, it doesn't matter what you eat. 
that very thing would be you but without changing your format got it you eat you, you eat some um you eat sugar whatever you, you eat yeah, yeah. you know it's you but doesn't change your format True. that's the memory the old memory you see that's the old memory within human being that is truly animal dna is animal genes our cells are animal all of that animal similar to animals mm-hmm. lion dogs mm-hmm. cheetah and so on mm-hmm. they breathe they're alive they breed they can reproduce mm-hmm. and proliferate but they're not conscious of their existence they're conscious of survival Uh-huh. That's why they maintain their territory and so forth. So they 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 aware of survival. But for human being, we are aware of our presence. We are conscious. We have consciousness. That's the reason we were animals above animals. Wow. We are animals above animals. Uh-huh. All other animal animals pests. Uh-huh. Even uh worms, all of that here within this planet uh-huh. are there to serve us. Wow. So that when they are gone, they are gone. The essential part of the universe uh-huh. is you and I. Amen to that. But while we here on earth, uh-huh. those animals are there to secure our being our survival mm. while on earth did you know that the absence of worms only the absence of worm on earth would cause this planet to die within 18 months only don't tell me yeah so that the planet needs it the worms, needs worms to yes. live okay okay see all of those animals you see they're there for us They're there for us to ensure our survival. Mm. That's the reason one kills the other, the other produces another one. Interesting. Um God is everything. Um one last word please because uh this session is called life is spiritual. Life God, is God, I like to make that right. Yeah. God is not everything. God is all the red there is. Give me five. God is all the race, not everything. Because when you you speak about God, it's not, not a thing. Things. Okay, God is all that is. Yeah. Wow. If I give you one minute to talk about Jesus, what would you say? Well, first, yeah, it's not easy to talk about Him. Yep. It's easy to talk of Him. Okay. What's the difference between the about and of? To talk about, you got to witness something you're talking about. So okay. you've been with him. Okay. So it's not a myth or something. Okay. The only one who can talk about Jesus in a perfect way is Jesus himself. But if we can talk of him, I can because I might be inspired by his spirit. Jesus then you're talking of him now right yeah, i'm talking of jesus okay. not about jesus okay because it's from it's coming from inspiration okay jesus is the example of enlightenment okay who came to introduce divine salvation right and the form of human being got it with grace mm-hmm. guaranteeing repentance mm-hmm. to salvation got it and love that's the reason it came with the good news yeah and jesus what made him great is his sense of true love forgiveness and acceptance so jesus is a perfect example of life for life perfect example, perfect example of life, life for life life you see yeah. so he died without revenge yeah. he had the ability to kill 
people. But he didn't. He didn't yeah. do. Yeah. He had the power to bring people back to life. He mm. did it with Lazarus. Yeah. He never did that. True that. His words. One thing that might be more interesting about Jesus is that Jesus spoke about things you can't contradict when he mm-hmm. came to life. Yeah. He said you shall know the truth and the truth you shall, shall set, you, set free. you free. Yeah. That's a fact. You can't change that. If you know the truth, you become free. He brought a message of unity, of love, not division. True. And last but not least, Jesus was not a religious man. True. That's the reason I love him most. Man to that. He was opposed to by religious guys. He never came to earth with religion. That's the reason he was qualified to be second Adam. Mm-hmm. He took everything back to normal. Yeah. That's Jesus for you. That's what I loved most. Yeah. He had no respect of people. He received everybody, anybody with love. But he also educated people in love. Thank you. Thank you so much Dr. Ellie. Um I've learned so much. That is life is spiritual. We'll be having more sessions like this. Please do subscribe and if you love Jesus like the way he did, please let me know. I do love him too. God bless you. I'm Lillian Mwasha. Bye-bye.